Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the International Drone Expo in Los Angeles. And I'm talking to Aiden from, is it XM2 or Griffin, or how does that work? Yeah, so it's a, it's a joint relationship between Griffin and XM2. Griffin's the manufacturer of these frames. XM2 is a service provider for uh, cinematography. Well. Got it, got it. And these drones are enormous. And as you know out there, I like big birds and I cannot lie. But I, I've never seen these before. Why haven't I seen these before? Uh, look, so we're, the, the company's based in Korea. It's all manufactured in Korea. Uh, we're an Australian company. And so until recently, the uh, regulation in, Austra uh, in the US has not allowed for larger aircraft to come in here. So we decided this is a good time. You know, things are start to happening here, so we're, we're entering the market and we're releasing ourselves at this show. And, and some of the, so, that's, so this is all happening here at the show for the very first time? Yeah, yeah, so this is the first time many people in the US have ever seen any of this product, yeah. What really dropped my attention is they had this out there. Hello, I picked this thing up. It's unbelievable how lightweight this thing is. What's the what's the secret there? And this is what the, all these ships are like, I'm sure. Yeah, so in Korea, we are a carbon manufacturer as well. Uh, we have uh, specialized in that, and so we're able to make structure and carbon the way we want it to happen. So we're not bound by any manufacturer's means. We decide what we want to do, and that allows us to create these beautiful structures in whatever weights we want. Yeah, and I also noticed it's uncommon to see an aircraft this big with prop guards, but I like it because this is where props can do damage. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, safety is a big concern with these big, big craft. And in Australia, for example, to get certain permits to fly in certain areas, we have to have these on. Okay, so it's part of our reason for developing these. And you can imagine in industry, you know, if you're doing a safety case for uh, using a drone on a work site, it just makes a lot of sense, right? It absolutely <laughs> does. It absolutely does. Well, you want to show me some of your ships? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, outstanding. So we've got a Griffin X8 here. This is a coaxial design. It's designed to carry high-end film cameras such as the Red Epic or Alexa Mini with cinema lenses and focus and iris zoom control. It has retractable legs, a fully adjustable gimbal. It's a really good aircraft and it sits under the 55 pound limit here in the US. So this is a quick release system. It's designed so that you can pack it down, assemble it really quickly, but still providing high current connectors in there. It's keyed so you can't mark up the positive and negative. <laughs> and it's nice and easy to use. So, and it's built to be used every day in and out. So this is the same frame we just saw before. We've got the prop guards on here, but we're also carrying a LiDAR on here for making 3D models and 3D maps. A really great tool for surveying and agriculture. Uh, really diverse, very, very accurate. This is our X8 Plus, so it's one of our larger aircraft. It's got the 50 mil booms. This aircraft was recently used for six months on Pirate of the Caribbean, carrying a large Alexa M and is very successful. It's done over 80 flight hours on set, so it's been a really good platform. The maximum takeoff weight here is 88 pounds. That is outside the limit, but we're currently get, trying to get this certified, so we'll see what happens. So this is a Hexadecker Plus from Griffin. It's 16 rotor aircraft, and it's capable of really high lift capabilities. So we're talking a maximum takeoff weight of 260 pounds. The aircraft weighs around 50 to 60 pounds. You can do all sorts of different things with this aircraft. As you can see, we've got a twin head camera with independent gimbals on there. This can be used for a variety of functions. You can imagine high value shots on a movie set, whereas explosions or car crashes, we can have two different lens lengths. Also, it's used for carrying all sorts of research equipment. So it's a pretty versatile machine. All right, so Aiden, thank you so much for showing me everything. Thank it's you. really cool. And from IDE 2015, Los Angeles, this is the Roswell Flight Disc Cruise, signing off.